What's up guys? In this video, I will be showing you input buffering combos and tricks. Input buffering basically means queuing up your next ability while executing another action so that it will instantly cast after the first ability or after a summoner spell is used. You will understand this better when you see the combos. But before we start, you must first enable the portrait lock feature in the settings. Quiet steps. Now, we can proceed to the combos. Extend your senses. Let's check that in slow motion. First, lock your target. Then press Q. Then press R. Then aim your flash to the opposite direction where you want to kick the enemy. As you can see, we already did three things before we reach the target. All we need to do now is release the flash when we reach the target. R is automatically executed after reaching the target. This is how the input buffering works. To time it properly, wait for about 0.3 seconds after your character stops dashing, then release your flash. Do not move your joystick while doing the combo because this will cancel the input buffering. My character kicked Zed instead of Jin because Zed has lower health percentage. This happens when you do not portrait lock on your target, you might accidentally kick a tank and miss the kill on the carry. First, lock your target. Then press R. Then aim your W. Then use flash. You can also do it without flash, but it will be less accurate on moving targets. Release your W before you reach the target, then press R. This combo is a bit slower compared to combo 1. First, lock your target. Then press R. Then double tap your W. Then press E, then Q. When the R animation starts, you can already press E. This will then instantly cast after your R. This is optional. Let's check that in slow motion. First, lock your target. Then aim your W. Then press R. When the R animation starts, press W. This will instantly cast after your R. When the R animation ends, press E then Q. This combo is useful when tower diving enemies with crowd controls. You 
Just place your W outside the tower range. It's also good for dodging skill shots. Let's check that in slow motion. First, lock your target. Then press R. Then use flash. When the R animation starts, press W, this will instantly cast after your R. When the R animation ends, press E then Q. I alone decide my fate. I will follow this path until the end. First, lock your target. Then press E. Then use flash. You should press Q after you flash because E will instantly cast. Then press R. Make sure your ear range can reach the target before you flash, because this might happen. You can use this combo to target the ADC. This is also good for chasing or initiating because the enemies have less time to react. If your enemies are grouped like this, target lock the one in the center. This will help you hit all of them with knock up and ult. 